Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars 25th Anniversary set review, and this one's on the Sith Infiltrator, or Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator, of course. So, on the front of the box here, we have the LEGO Star Wars logo, and same border as we've seen with all the other 25th Anniversary sets of which, and also highlighting the exclusive minifig, and in this case, Saw Gerrera, and then also the three mini fix there are and picture of the set coming on to Tatooine and also age recommendation nine and up set number seven five three eight three has six hundred forty pieces and then on the back side of the box have picture of it in a landing position on Tatooine and battle of the mini figs going on and logos again and all the features of the set and the and now onto the manual, of which kind of cheap rendering or CGI rendering like all manuals these days are. The transition of plastic bags to paper bags, add, add for the builder app. And then, a oh, celebration of the 25th anniversary there and how to use the brick separator included. And then on the back side, there's how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. Of course. And which is three pages, and then the last building set. So not only advertisements for earlier sets or anything, but whatever. First off for the 25th anniversary fig, in this case is Saw Gerrera from Rogue One. Also one that, also not sure why it is that we haven't got him in any of the sets from Rogue One, or or at least the one for Andor for that, so. Although him here, great to have, but although, but hopefully if this set does well, then maybe we'll get him in a future set down the line or whatever. But however, right, he was. However, not sure why this whole, uh, why the, why, the, uh, torso and legs are all in dark green. Although I think, probably like gray or at least black could have worked out as well. But although the dark green quite works out as well, and and also this uh, shoulder pad piece used for like. A football player minifigs and such, or like we saw on the Bad Batch, but however, all the printings of which also match the printings on the torso piece. But however, the printing on both sides of them looks really good for how it is, and also that one of the legs does have some nice printing with a little bit of toe printing to represent his uh, bionic uh, leg that there is. But although one of the odd leg pieces that we just use in call in a couple of Collect Looney minifig series, I think could have worked out a little better. Well, maybe if he gets a, another release in the future, we could get that, but yeah. Then as for his cane-like staff, which consisting of a traditional lightsaber rod and also one of the lightsaber hilt pieces, well, actually the kind used for Monkey Kid, I, uh, which nice to see outside of Monkey Kid and also kind of neat to see used in Star Wars for that. And then also on the back side is this large uh, cape kind of piece to there, which has one hole connecting it for that. Nice to see. And also, all these printings on it looks really good for how it is. And also, it's the nice soft material for that. Great to see. And then also for the uh, hair piece of which, kind of like we saw previously, and also the uh, face printing looks quite good for how it is. And here he is from the back side for that, and then there's his double side face then. And then obviously, like all the other 25th anniversary figs, same base build as all of them, and that says 25 years Lego like Star Wars, and also similar to the uh, 20th anniversary figs from 2019, of course, but yeah, and that's about it there. And now to the three main mini figs included with the set, is the all new updated version of Darth Maul. So, 
as well. I see the torso print, leg printing quite good and also a little similar to previous Darth Maul minifigs, but also some, uh, not sure if you've been noticed, there is some nice toe printing as well. Uh, I say good highlight from that, from the previous ones, but the top spiky head kind of part of which also the same as from previous versions and he's of course wielding the double head lightsaber obviously and also the uh, face printing which is quite different than previous ones it's where it's kind of in the regular style minifig eyes but instead of like having the pupils effect in it in it like he did the previous versions and also with Savage Opress so I'm not sure why that is, but whatever. Although this face printing kind of it works out for that. And then next to which we have would have have all new updated version of young Anakin Skywalker, which the face printing and also the torso printing quite similar to previous versions that we've had, but also the hair piece, which is the kind of recent Harry Potter uh, hair piece for that, but in dark tan. Uh, which I think quite well works for him, like it did with Omega in the uh, Justifier two years ago for that. But yeah. And then last of which is new updated version of Qui-Gon Jinn, which is hair piece of which, same as it's been for a while, and of course wielding the green lightsaber. And then also this uh, poncho piece, which is in soft fabric for that. Nice to see. And also kind of like we saw on... Uh, Luke Skywalker in the 2020 uh, Lance Beater set. Yeah, the, the, and then they have the uh, Jedi robe cloaks and all, uh, which quite similar to most earlier uh, figs for that. And also the same, and also kind of similar uh, problem with the earlier figs where the printing just, the color on the print, like printing, just doesn't match the uh, top part of it. Although I think dual molded could have worked out as much better for that. Uh, that's just me. Then on the back sides of each of them, how both uh, Qui Gon and Anakin, only ones with double side faces, but not for Darth Maul. And also there's his double side or back torso printing, of course. Although for Darth Maul, would have been nice to also include a a black Jedi hood piece for that, and since he kind of does in this whole scene, there you go. And that is about it with all the minifigs included. And now on to the Sith Infiltrator, which, as you can see. which from first glance, almost kind of similar to the 2015 and 17 versions of it, but obviously this is a newer downscale for that, like we had with the X-Wing, uh, TIE Fighter, TIE of Shuttle, and Slave 1 back in 2021, which is uh, downscaled for that. Same here for that. Let's put Although sort of a similar sizing to like the 2006 uh, Sith Infiltrator for that. And, and even though that which was a kind of a smaller $3 range for that, but this is which kind of a 70 range. That so it does have a lot more pieces going to it. So like as for the front part of which, as he does have some quite good angling to it and also does have or a whole lot of wedge plates going inwards and also a curved slope in the front part which and however the texturing of it quite good for how it is and then as for this upper part which as seen does have those uh two gold bar pieces but in light gray a uh, which if you press on them and they or press on them and they launch the spring little launchers for that and so that which kind of a good highlight over the other uh, for or previous versions yeah. and then also do have these technic bits of which that connect to the uh, ratcheted joint or plates for that which you get, turn them inwards and turn them back and and then in its flight mode of course but yet almost similar to the 2011 version 
of the Sith infiltrating our planet. Also, you have these other technic bits up there, I would obviously to act as a stopper. And then moving on to most of it, which is for this upper section, which does have these other slope like pieces going off the sidewards, and then also this a little uh, a slope here that's connected to the like two hinges that connect to the launcher parts, and then a little bit more going on, and also does have this kind of large assembly part here with ending off with a slope there. And then have a lot of cheese slopes for that, and then also these kind of uh, sideways uh, kind of bits with those side uh, tiles and other slopes there. And you can like open this part up like this way, and then also a spot to hold in the uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, scout probes for that. And then also one of the, another one of the main features is there's that if you pull on this part and oh let's see that if you pull on here and then the trap door feature pops open and the probe joint then the probe droids can just drop right out and as he and also to lock that back in is that you just pull on this pull on this part and then it's all kind of inwards and does have that rubber piece to stop it from going in or, or to keep it in place so nice thing for that nice going on for there and as these probe droids which quite nice simple build for how they are like does have the like curved or rounded tiles, obviously to give it the rounded shape to it rather than like dishes. And also one of those like little hinge connector parts on top acting as like the antennas. So obviously the older antenna pieces on the earlier versions kind of took up a bit of space for that, but, uh, but however with this switch, nice improvement for that. And to get them loaded in there is that you can just that with those tile pieces, they can just get them situated in and drop them in like so. And also that little tan uh, slope in there, most likely to make the dropping feature work better. Then as for this upper section, which comprised with like gold bar pieces in, uh, oh whoops in gunmetal gray there and then some kind of good texturing going on to that and also one of those newer style uh, bits on here which obviously acting as like a little rebuild detailing of which like good way to change things up from the uh, later ver earlier versions and then the uh, upper part of which was have the dish piece dish like piece which is kind of similar to the last two versions but in a smaller scale ver form of it and then also to have those newer binocular pieces on there right here acting as like a little griefful detail for that and then wing bits also some also like the other versions that fold outwards like so fold it outwards then it's in the flight mode for that and as he does have but instead has those like uh, smaller wedge plates going on and also those other wedge plates going on and also unlike the previous versions does have a lot of the macaroni uh, tiles but but the ones in different sizes for that so kind of a nice texturing to that then the back side of which which does have a little less going on with it where it's kind of these little venting slopes and on hinge parts where you can like uh, pull this part down and open this up and then these two uh, corner uh, slopes for that you can pull right out and then has a lot of space to reach into and pull out the blood speeder and then has this and also does have this 
little control panel piece in there. And of course, enough space to like put Darth Maul onto and then it in there in those clip parts on there of which to hold the lightsaber on. Also like in some ships these days. Then as for the blood speeder here, almost kind of like the uh, other previous ones of it, or unlike with the very first version of it in 1999, was also used in the uh, lights, kind of redone in the lightsaber dual set. Kind of strange how that is, but yeah. But although this was a nice downscale version of it from the previous versions, with those like uh, pizza sliced pieces, pieces in dark tan and brown, adding has some good texture to it and also handlebar bits to fit Darth Maul onto, of course. And I drop it in and close it all up again, like so. And now, onto the comparison. And here we are compared to the last version of the Sith Infiltrator from uh, 2015. Like, obviously, from first glance, it is kind of sizing. It also had different price points. Like, this was 90 this is 70 So, $20 less of that. And also, this did have a few extra mini figs, uh, which, like, Watto and such. But, of course. But, of course, this was a different time of, like, Star Wars. But, also at the uh, spring of the launchers which were in the back parts of it and unlike this newer version in the very front part which so kind of a nice uh, touch up there and as for the probe droid loader parts open in different ways but all, unlike in this version the blood spear was kind of contained in there but not sure why that is So I guess, and then as for the top dome parts, like obviously on different versions. Uh, although this I think probably came on the 2011 version of it, and I see they're kind of some actually a little bit different than the than each other. Or not sure why, but whatever. Then also these back parts of which where one of which is all stud heavy and the uh, new one is all coated with tiles for that and then the back side of both of them kind of similar pieces going on and similar designs but one of which a downscale to that and also landing gear sort of similar but just in different pieces for that and i guess that is about it there Of the final verdict. So overall, I think this was a, a quite good set for how it is. Like, like if you didn't want to bother with the previous uh, 2015 or 11 uh, Sith infiltrators, well, this was a good choice for that. As for the seventy dollars that it is, quite good for how it is. Like, even though the previous versions had like around five mini figs in them but this of which you get about four but one of which is special anniversary fig in this case saw Gerrera, of course but as for the saw Gerrera mini fig in particular although i think if he were to be ever be included in any rogue one sets or and or sets in the future i would expect him to be sort of like that of course yes, but maybe with a few different uh and, uh attributes and prints to him obviously but yeah and as for the Darth Maul minifig uh, which kind of workable with a uh, newer range minifigs of course even despite being a little similar to the original 99 1999 minifig of him but yeah but then as for some of the, the and as for the price point of it like the $70 for all this quite good proud is when yet even despite being 
in kind of price similarly to the 2011 version and a uh, size kind of similar to the 2006 version. Well, sort of in the middle of those two. Well, and also as for the availability, which like being a Walmart exclusive, although I think a like full or full size release of it would have worked out a little better than that. But yeah. But however, the set as is, which quite good for how it is, like good playability and also nice and stable and for swooshability and so on. But yeah. And so now, if any of you are looking to get this set for your episode one uh, collection, Lego Star Wars collection, or Lego Star Wars 25th anniversary collection, then definitely pick it up. Uh, and also, if you are to get Zogarera for your uh, Rogue One minifig range collection, and or Rogue One collection as well, then also definitely pick them up, and that's or definitely pick it up. But yeah, and that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.